So I'm now here on the Indasberg Praxis and I'm talking to Hans Christian Westrom from uh, Solstream. Yes. You did some tests. Uh, what did you do here? You worked in strawberry? Yes. Uh, we were called up uh, early this spring yeah. uh, uh, by uh, Mr. Ulrich Osterlund because he wanted us to, to do some testing with, uh, with steaming his soil. He had uh, some um, hectares with uh, very bad soil, with the problems with uh, fungus, uh, nematodes, uh, yeah, also weed, but uh, the biggest problem was fungus and nematodes. So, and he heard that we um, had some of the, or some of the leading uh, companies with soil steaming. Mm -hmm. uh, so uh, we have a lot of experience with uh, with uh, vegetables. Uh, from, uh, from Scandinavia, but we have never been steaming with strawberries before. Mm -hmm. So we found that a very good opportunity to come down here and, uh, and do some trials. So we came down in the end of June and uh, we're steaming some of this um, very bad soil uh, in order to see, you know, the, um, to prove uh, that uh, we can kill uh, almost all nematodes and fungus uh, in the soil and also to see the reaction, uh, what happens with the strawberry after that. Yeah. How does your technique work? Um, we use steam. Uh, we have um, a big machine uh, and um, the short version is that we take uh, steam from a big uh, boiler, high temperature that we take into uh, a tent. Uh, under the tent we have uh, vacuum pipes which sucks the, uh, the steam very quickly down in the soil. And in that way, we can get the, uh, the steam down to 30 or even 40 centimeters deep in the soil and heat up the whole layer. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. But you're working really slow. The area you can do per hour, it's about... Mm, yeah, um, <laughs> it's a lot of soil that has to be heated up many degrees. So um, the, what we have seen is that if we steam, uh, let's say 10 centimeters, which is uh, the fastest version, uh, then we, we take uh, half a decade, an hour, which means uh, two hours for a decade and 20 hours for a hectare. Yeah. What about energy that's used? It's uh, always a problem. It is. And uh, of course, again, you take a lot of energy to create that much steam. Uh, so uh, uh, this machine, which is our first uh, version, uh, uses uh, approximately uh, 140 liters diesel per hour mm -hmm. uh, and that means again uh, if you are going to do uh, 10 centimeters steaming and do one hectare you are talking about something like 3000 liters per hectare yeah yeah uh, what about the first results did you get some results Yes, we did, and um, it was a little bit too late uh, because uh, normally they don't grow strawberries in uh, the in, in June, end of June, uh, when we were steaming. It was too late, but anyway, we were thinking of results next year because the very good thing about steaming is that results last for many years. Mm -hmm. So uh, yeah, now we have been steaming for uh, for uh, I mean, uh, Ostelo um, uh, this year. And uh, we think that he will have a very good uh, harvest for maybe three or four years. Mm -hmm. So uh, we decided that even though we were late in the season, we would do the trials mm -hmm. and see what was happening. Yeah. And uh, the trials you can see from this uh, poster because uh, uh, Mr. Kellis uh, Kosnik from uh, yeah, from Langfraden. Yes. Uh, he has done tests, lots of tests, uh, both uh, with. Uh, where we're steam and where we're not steam to see what was in the soil and what was there after. And uh, the short version is that we killed um, 90 to 95 percent of the nematodes, of, of the nematodes uh, and also of all the fungus uh, and weed. The fungus is uh, waiting for the results. They have not received any more, uh, all of them yet, mm -hmm. but, uh, but the results uh, show, we have received so far shows the same. Mm -hmm. So, no, um, there are, there are less, less than 5 percent left of the. Yeah. That of the things that was there. Is there some interest of the uh, people who visited uh, your steaming system? It is uh, tremendous. Uh, I think that uh, uh, farmers have now seen that you know the, the traditional methods uh, with uh, chemicals and those uh, they are getting so many problems now, mm -hmm. uh, and uh, that's also what we hear from. 
there's been people here in this fair uh, coming from uh, Australia, from Malaysia. Uh, when we did the test here in June, we had people coming from the United States, from Africa, all over the world. So it's a it's a international problem, mm -hmm. uh, and uh, people wants to also wants to go greener. Mm -hmm. So they want to do steaming instead of chemicals. Uh, in many many ways, there are no chemicals left to use. And also, they, they force us to, to make um, a, a bio burner, mm -hmm. so you can buy, uh, you can uh, uh, use, uh, create a steam by using uh, grass or uh, or pellets instead of diesel. Mm -hmm. So I'm sure you will continue with this. We will, and we have already um, uh, our next um, next machine is also ready, and the first two are sold. So um, things are coming. It will be a great future, maybe, yeah? I hope for you. I hope so, too. Thanks, Sue.